This is SBC News. Good evening. The Secretary General of uh, Comesa, Chilise Capuepue, has officially opened a desk here in Seychelles where the Comweb uh, Secretariat uh, can operate. Uh, Comweb uh, is the Comesa Organization for Women in Business and is aimed at helping women to improve it, their businesses and bring their products on a level which can be sold on the African continent. The office is based at the Seychelles Investment Bureau, SIB, in the Independence Annex building. Mrs. Kapwepwe is in the country to also witness the official launching of the chapter of Comweb here tomorrow afternoon. Ours is to bring the countries together, to move in a concerted um, way, to have harmonization so that you can grow your markets because you have a wider market, not just your own country, but a commercial market, which is another 20 countries, including yourself, 21 countries across Africa, coming together to have common trade facilitation tools, to have common regulations, to have common ways of border management and all kinds of um, facilitation that we do. We also support trade investment promotions, and so we support capacity building, whether it's of your Bureau of Standards, as we were talking earlier, whether it's your uh, uh, promotion uh, investment agency, um, whether it's your women with a small project trying to get capacity, just to build their confidence. The Fair Trading Commission, the FTC, has presented its report uh, for 2020 to the Minister of uh, Finance, Economic Planning and Trade, Nadir Hassan, this morning at Liberty House. Commenting on the report, which presents the performance of the Commission in 2020, the Chief Executive of the Commission, Francis Lebon, said COVID-19 has had a negative impact both on business and on the Commission itself. This required a readjustment which resulted in the concentration of resources in three main areas, namely consumer education, food security support and working with retailers and wholesalers to bring them into compliance with fair trading laws. Mr. Lubon added that the report presents the performance of his mandate as well as a number of complaints from consumers and how these complaints were handled. It's an opportunity for us to display um, the work that we have done and also outline the challenges and constraints that we may have have in uh, 2020 um, given the COVID-19 pandemic. But at the end of the day, we, we are here to, 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 to do some work. Um, uh, and, uh, and I think uh, in, uh, when the law, the new bill is passed, um, we will have greater momentum and energy to do even better. Um, uh, but we want to assure um, consumers and businesses um, that the Fair Trading Commission is working and is working hard behind the background. And uh, if there are any issues, do not hesitate to contact uh, the Commission. And our advocacy program has really worked well in 2020. In total, we have, uh, we have placed around 202, actually, adverts on different platforms. So this shows our commitment to education and awareness to give consumer, to empower consumers with the necessary tools to make the right decisions. Because it's not about enforcement of the, of the provisions of the law only. It's also about giving the consumer education so that they make the right choices. It's about rights and responsibilities. So we need to coexist between suppliers and of services and consumers and FTC as the referee. Um, uh, to see how the match goes. The Health Department has in its uh, latest COVID update said that uh, community transmission is uh, persisting and all districts continue to report cases. Uh, the seven-day moving average remains uh, at around uh, 50. According to the department, there are currently 510 active cases. 486 cases are on Mahe, Pralin has eight and Ladig 13. The Public Health Authority is following closely the increase in the number of active cases on La Digue from three cases two weeks ago to 13 cases presently. A mass will be held at uh, the Holy Spirit Parish Church uh, in Perseverance at uh, noon tomorrow to mark the International Overdose Awareness Day. This day is observed on the 31st of August for people who have suffered or who have lost someone from an overdose. 
Dr. Annabelle Marie, an addictologist at the Agency for the Prevention of Drug Abuse uh, Rehabilitation, says that it is also a means of awareness and has called on people who are facing these issues uh, to seek help. They can also contact the APDA Mat Clinic on 2631187 for any queries or if they need any assistance. We want to send a message out there to the families and friends of those who have lost loved ones to overdose that they are not alone, they are not being judged, there is no shame, there is no guilt in that. If they need any help, any psychological assistance, we have trained professionals available who can address the, the issues so we can give them a place, a safe place to come to. And at the same time, we want the people who are actively using drugs, especially in unsafe ways, such as injecting and chasing, that despite this behavior, they are not devalued or neglected. They are still important to us, and we want to do our level best to help them. So that day is also a, an opportunity to bring that out, let them know that they are valued in society. And that's it for now. I'll be back with all the day's news in Creole in just an hour's time.